What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to do a tier list on the games that guys play on what I think are the worst for women and what aren't that bad, okay? Um, now, I have a couple of duplicates down here, so ignore them uh, if you see the same picture. Uh, there's about 12 of them I'm going to do, the most common ones. I'm sure there's a 50. There's 50. I'm sure something has happened to you that I've never heard of before. Um, but I'm going to talk about the main ones, okay? Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, click the red button below. I would love you forever. And if you like videos like this, let me know. I will do more. Just give me the topics, okay? So, this is going to be based on uh, its effectiveness in getting a woman, okay? Number one. And number two, I pers disclaimer here, I don't think guys play mind games uh, intentionally a lot of the times I think it's subconscious and you'll see what I mean when I get into this but a lot of the times a lot of the women think that a guy's just doing this you know just to mess with her and that's not the case all the time okay so jumping right into this I think this is a very high tier one um, it's when a guy tries to buy time uh, when this is when a guy uses time constraints like r r maybe not right now but I do like you um, uh, or or that just give me another month. I just got out of a relation that that kind of shit and I'm going to say that's probably a tier and the reason I say that is because this guy Knows that you're interested. He Knows that for the most part he might not be in this relationship But you as the woman you are going to justify him why because you like him you're going to justify instead of qualify a lot of women fall for this. Now, another one which I think is eight or S tier is when a guy says, I want a relationship, but he actually does not want one. Um, I think that is very, very powerful. I think a guy is bullshitting you completely, obviously. And but but you but here's the thing, you don't know that. You do not know he's bullshitting you, so uh, you're, you're going to go along with it. And, and then this guy's probably going to ghost you. So it is a horrible, I think this is probably the strongest. Uh, it is a horrible tactic. I wish guys wouldn't do it, but guys do. Now on the other end, there is a guy who says he does want a relationship and actually means it. This is going to go B tier for... I mean, it could go anywhere, but I, I, I'm putting it here for a reason. I might move it. A lot of the times, it is a very good tactic. However, I don't think it's, an, it's a tactic that the guy is initially using on purpose, like this one in the S tier. Um, a lot of the times when a guy does say that, and let's say later on down the road, uh, he's not investing anymore, He's not initiating anymore. A lot of women automatically think he's doing this kind of crap right here when he's not. He just lost interest. Maybe you're not as interesting as you thought. Maybe a better option has came along uh, in his life. Things like that. So uh, I, I put it. I put it in the middle of the pack. This one uh, I would also put in the middle of the pack. This is when a guy starts to ignore you. It could be very effective. If it's a guy doing it, or a guy who played the game correctly, and has done it to the right woman. If she's very insecure, this can be all the way up to, and he's out of her league. Like, let's say she doesn't have experience with men. She hasn't dated in a while. She has, her sugar walls are dusty. Um, you know, and she wants that lead pipe. Hey, th this, and, and, and he's a good looking guy. She's a, he's a 10, she's a, she's a 7. She, it's up here. But, I w I'm going to put it right here because I think it could be effective and uh, ineffective. Ineffective because if it's a high value woman, she's like, whatever, dude. Like, I'm done. Like, she want to put up with this bullshit. But at the same time, a lot I can maybe put in A tier. Can I put it right in the middle? No, I can't. Because I can put an A tier because a lot of women justify. You lose a lot of the times because you justify, ladies. Uh, stand, uh, standing, a, standing you up. I'm going to put that down here. Because it's effed up. It's not a tactic. You, it, it, it's, it's not a. It shouldn't even be a game. If that happens, you're done. You should be cut. You should be cutting the guy out. You should be cutting the guy out 100%. Okay. So I don't even say it's a tactic. Negging. I'm gonna put down here. Uh, for women who don't know what negging is, it's it's a sexual market value tactic like uh, 
where, well, or if, sorry, if your sexual market value is different, meaning like you'll say you're a 10 and he's an 8, he might neg and bring you down uh, by insulting you, not in a harsh way, but in more in a funny way or in a way where it's like, hey, you're, you, like, your looks don't, uh, don't scare me or your looks aren't as intimidating as they might be to other guys. He's going to use some tactic to kind of bring you down a notch and you're going to be like, oh, fuck. So... I think I put it down here because I think a lot of guys do it wrong, number one. Number two, I think if you're actually a high-value woman and he's a lower-value guy and he does that kind of shit, you would toss him to the side. Um, and, and again, a lot of guys don't have a tight game. It could be higher. It could be here, maybe there. But I'm going to say for 95% of men, it's down here because I think if you're a high-value woman and he's a guy who negs, which low-value men neg. Uh, or lower value than a woman, at least. It's not. I don't think it works effectively. So, saying he's gonna call you and he doesn't call you, that's that could be A or C or B. I'm gonna put it C because again, it's a strong tactic of done, but on the right woman who doesn't have experience with men, who's insecure, doesn't have options. She wants to lead pipe when the sugar walls are dusty. She wants a relationship and he's painting this picture for like all this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, it works well, but I think if it happens more than twice, you got to cut the guy out. Like, dude, you say, you say, you say one thing, you're not going to do it. Uh, get the hell out of my life. So I put it down here. Pulling away. Uh, this can, I'm going to say, oh, B or, I'm going to say B tier. Pulling away is a very, 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 very strong tag. Actually, I'm going to put it A, just because it happens to every one of my clients. Every one of my clients are, uh, are falling for it. Ah, shit, I'll put a B. Even though it's the mo this is the most common thing when a guy starts to pull away. Um, and I say it's B tier strictly because while it's very, in terms of effectiveness, it can go all the way up to here. But it's, uh, I don't think it's a mind game that a guy plays on purpose. Like I always say, if a guy truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. If a guy truly likes you, he, uh, you know, it's like, why not just commit? So I don't think it's a tactic that a guy is initially doing to mess with your head. I think he's just losing interest. And by you sticking around, he's going to take advantage of those assets. So that's why it looks like a mind game. Um, I already did the standing up one. Uh, love bombing. I'm going to put that up here. Love bombing is very powerful. Uh, love bombing is very powerful because like I always say, if it's done to the right person, it's really effective. Why would you think otherwise? This guy's investing. I mean, until you watch my videos, this guy's investing a lot, Elliot. This guy's texting me, calling me, initiating. He's do blowing up my phone. He's telling me I'm the best thing that ever happened to him. He's his last girlfriend. Oh, I'm way better looking than her. You know, like all, and he just does all these things. And you like the guy, you're going to justify it, and you're going to go along with it. It's a very powerful tactic. But a lot of the times, again, I don't think it's a tactic. I think the guy just might be trying to fill a void in his own like he doesn't realize he's not sometimes a guy just does it because like i do like the girl but then the context is created and he's like oh you know what eh, never mind like I, I i'm creating too much pressure here on my own or my like my, myself like by what i'm doing it is if i by me complying is telling her i'm on the same page when i might not be and then he freaks himself out and he pulls back but in terms of love bombing in general itself is it's very powerful um uh, so this one is where a guy says, you know, I, I really like you, but I don't want you to go anywhere. Please, please, please. I, I, I don't want a relationship, but I, I, I love you in my life. Uh, I'm going to put that B tier. I'm, I could put that higher, but no, I'm, gonna, I'm putting it over here. That's a very powerful tactic. That's a really powerful tactic because a lot of women think they can change the guy later on. They, I don't know why. I don't know why y'all think that, but, but you do. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, let me see. This is where a guy, this one's where a guy tries to be on the same page with you. He says things or he tries to get IOIs, indicators of interest, meaning trying to get you to cave into his, um, 
preferences. So it would be something like, oh, I like girls who are, are, are you know, I like ambitious women. And then you're, and then you say things like, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, yeah ambition is important to me. You know, I have to have a drive. I have to hustle. I have to have a mission. You know, like that kind of stuff. Or I like a girl that travels. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I've been all over the place. Uh, I'll say that's B tier. It's pretty powerful um, because, now, in terms of the mind game, it can be down here. But, you know, you have to think, why is he doing it? And if you're, if you're biting, right, if, you're, if, if, if he's throwing that hook out there and you're, and, and you're taking the bait, in terms of, like, is it effective in what he's wanting to get, which is indicators of interest, it's up here, okay? Um, and, of course, the last one. Which is I don't know what this one is. Let me look. Hold on. Let me look what this one is. Uh, says he says he can stand you up. Says he loves you, but he doesn't. Uh, says he doesn't want a relationship, but wants to nags you, pulls away. I don't know what this one is. Never initiates. Oh, this is probably the yeah the never initiating one. A guy who never initiates. Uh down here because while it can work and it does work, I think he's not. Again, you ha it's this this list is based off of the mind game and its effectiveness and like like him doing it um like the reason why he's doing it can this be effective absolutely hey i could see a guy not initiating and women going crazy and it can go up here but in terms of him doing it and the reason him doing it a lot of guys just don't initiate be, i'll put it right here because he's just he might not just be interested you know Th i mean that's that's why and then women are like well well, but I mean, he he has to be. He he did this. He did the yada yada. Okay, I understand. But you know, and, and again, if you're still in his life and you guys are talking, uh, you know, he's going to go along with it because he's not investing, but he's still getting access to the assets. So if women, women always come to me and they're like, "Well, Elliot, he, you know, when I do initiate, he's gung ho. He's all about it. Like he he writes back right away, and we're texting, we're doing this, and." If I ask to see him, he says yes, blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, cool, but he's never initiating. And I talk about offensive and defensive dating. So he's not initiating for one, two, or three reasons. One, uh, he might think he already has you. Two, he might not be interested. Or three, he doesn't really care about losing you. He doesn't care about losing you because, like I always say, in terms of defensive dating, a guy thinks, or defensive mindset, which is, I need to take her off the market because she's high value and she's really likable. Um, and I can see a lot of guys liking her. And if I don't, someone else will. But he's not initiating, so he doesn't give a shit. So there you go, ladies. Let me know if you agree with my list. Again, the list is not based off its effectiveness as much as it is the, like, the, the point of the guy using it and does it work, right? So again... A guy who can neg you, if it's done on the right woman, it can move up to here. But in terms of, you know, in general, eh, I don't know. I don't think it's, it's that strong. Or like I say, a girl who, a guy, when a guy says he's going to call you and he doesn't call you, can that really mess with your head? Boom. Yes, absolutely. It could be up here or here. But I think if a guy doesn't call you, he's just not that interested uh, and or you should just cut him off. So, ladies, with that being said, let me know how you like this video. I love you all. Give me topics. Um, and I would do more of these. Love you. Take care and peace.